Charlie the Chocolate Chihuahua looked over his new garden and barked happily to himself. Today, he was ready to leave the porch and play with his new brothers, if they let him. In the mudroom, Felix and Sammy yelped excitedly. I wonder why they're barking. Felix, I need to use the doggy door. I'm barking so Zoe will have breakfast ready for us when we come back. You're so smart, but I need to go out. As always, Felix was the first through the doggy door. Hi, guys. Remember me? Charlie the Chocolate Chihuahua? Uh, love to talk, but we have big dog stuff to do. Like chasing Gopher around the backyard. <laughs> Felix and Sammy were having fun. They bounced on the lawn furniture. They barked at the birds on the ground and jumped in the air when Robin sang. I bet you can't catch me. They howled at Cheryl, the tailless squirrel, who laughed and dropped an acorn on Felix's head. Plop! Why does Cheryl drop an acorn on me every morning? Well, m maybe she likes you. Are you nuts? Can I play too? Sammy, let's go chase Gopher. Cheryl saw Charlie staring up at her. She remembered a few days ago when Zoe, the little girl who lived in the house, brought him home from the shelter. He was a shivering, frightened little dog, the color of milk chocolate. He was small, but had big, shiny eyes and even bigger ears. Oh, the sight of his chocolate-colored fur makes me hungry for acorns. Now can I play with you guys? <laughs> You'll have to wait until you get much older and bigger, Charlie. Charlie watched Cheryl dance along the high branch, scamper down the tree, and land on the swing. Cheryl moved closer to Charlie until they were practically nose to nose. Charlie the Chocolate Chihuahua, I will play with you. So will the birds once they meet you, but you must promise not to bark at us. Cheryl, I promise. How did you know my name? I have big ears. I hear everything. Right now, Felix is explaining the rules of fetch to Sammy. I guess that's why Sammy looks confused. <gasps> really? <gasps> well, turn around because Everyone is waiting to meet you! I'm Charlie the Chocolate Chihuahua, and I can hear everything. My name is Rockin' Rob Robin, and this is my thing. My hair starts a bobbing whenever I sing. I'm Papa Peak Pigeon, I sing the blues. The funkiest pigeon. They never wore shoes. They call me Sweet Cindy Sparrow, and I love to say, I just melt your heart with my sweet country twine. Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, we're the, the backyard, backyard birds. Ask him to play ball with you, Charlie. Maybe they'll teach you how to fly. <laughs> <sighs> I'd love to fly, Felix. Just think about it. It would be so awesome. <sighs> Sammy, just pass me the ball. Hey, Charlie, try to jump over the swing. Yeah, you can play with us big dogs if you do. It's easy. All you have to do is run and leap. I don't know how to jump over anything. I might have to join a circus to learn. Run like someone is chasing you! Well, that's what squirrels do! You can do it, Charlie. You can do it, Charlie. You can do it, Charlie. Jump, Charlie! 
I can do this. Jump, Jump Charlie. Charlie! I can do this. Jump, Charlie! Jump! I can do this. Jump! Jump! I will do this. Charlie ran and leapt, but he didn't quite make it. And Charlie found himself hanging from the swing. Felix and Sammy <laughs> burst out laughing. The birds tittered, Gopher yawned, and went back into his hole. Well, that didn't go according to plan, but good try, Charlie. I can do this, just not today. After lunch, Charlie had a wonderful dream. He dreamed he played ball with his brothers. He dreamed he jumped through the swing and played trampoline on the lawn furniture. He dreamed he jumped so high, he landed on Cheryl's favorite branch. Thoughts of his day ran through his mind, and he wondered, <sighs> Why doesn't Cheryl have a tail?